what's going on everybody? I've been doing some deep meditation and prayer in the Word. crazy to me because I've always even I was I was growing up you know that um, I was heard my father talk about like uh, the world ending before I was gonna die and I didn't really knew what they didn't know what what that meant like talking about the world ending and then now I'm seeing this isn't it isn't it I'm seeing this in my spirit the Lord's been talking about preservation or preserving preserving his children he has preserved us he has encompassed us <coughs> set us aside even if we I don't know if you've ever been that, you were the type of person growing up, you were not that great at making friends. Why were you not that great? You just didn't fit in with the regular rest of the rest of the people and everything. And me, myself, I've, it's almost like I can't have normal conversations. Like, you know, like regular conversations, like, oh, how's the weather? Or like, was this or that? Like, I can, but like, I really don't care too much for it, I should say. But like I tend to think more on the broad, like, like I, I I should I should really say that I'm not really like a surface person. Like I like to go deeper, a lot deeper with things, I guess, and other people. When you try to, because when you're having conversations like this with other people, like I used to, I drove for I was a taxi driver for a little bit, and I try to get deeper in conversations, people would immediately get turned off and everything. They didn't want to, they don't want to talk about certain things, you know, especially anything to do with the Bible or like, why, why do we exist or anything like that. So it's like, I like to go deeper into things like that, you know. And, you know, just not, not be so surfaced all the time or surfaced at all. I like to go deeper. And especially, you know, on the subject of, of God and what, what what I've been receiving in my spirit lately, that preservation, preserving you, preserving His people, He has set us, He has set this generation aside. Even if you like, you grew up, you didn't have that many friends, or you were not that great at making friends. Maybe you didn't even talk that much. Maybe you were more, you know in tune with your own thoughts, you are more introverted. You can do both, you can be introvert, you can also be an extrovert if it means necessary, but whatever the case may be, that he has preserved you, he's encased you and set you aside for a time like this. This is our this is God's children children's time to to really reach, really reach people. Especially now, I just, everything that is spiritual now, and then are like, people are starting to see, you know, especially with the shutdown, like, wow, okay. They're starting to really be set more in tune with the volume of their spiritual being, their spiritual person, their spiritual plans, desires, but it all comes down to this, this one answer, and that is we're not going to live forever. We're not going to live forever in this world, because it's Let's just be honest, I mean, I don't care what evolution or anyone else tells me that the world's degrading at a rapid pace. It's not producing more, it's degrading more. 
it's subtracting more. It's not adding more, but it's subtracting more. Okay, it's taking away more. More things are dying. More things, you know, are being subsided, I guess. Subtracted, taken away, killed. No longer there anymore. So you can't really convince me that the earth is going to continue to go on, things are going to continue to go on as they were, and they're not. I mean, it's not even just that, it's, you know what the Bible says in the last days, that men's hearts would fail them. Why are they failing? You know? um, but going back to the beginning of the message, preserving you preserving you, preserving his people, preservation, encompassing you has set, the Lord has set you aside. <clears throat> it's more attractive, I should say this, it's more attractive in the kingdom of God to share a word of knowledge, to share the truth with a society who constantly goes up against or with people on this earth. So it's like less appealing with people here in the real world versus people, souls in the kingdom of God. Because even if you you went over one soul, the angels in heaven do rejoice. Or, you know, the, the saying that Jesus leaves the 99 to go after the one. But preservation, he has preserved you, you are preserved, you are you've been kept, you've been, you're here, you're still here, so what does that tell you? You can't just say, oh, I'm still here, I, I can't figure out why God still kept me, I can't figure out why I'm still here, why am I still living, what's the Lord's plan for my life? His plan is for you to, to be a disciple for His kingdom and to be, you know, His messenger. That's His plan for your life, so just be that be that disciple, be that messenger, and just make sure you're listening to his voice closely and just staying away from things that you shouldn't even be caught up in, so, so anyway, God bless.